Hello everyone and welcome. Today I have an exciting tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to create this promo banner which will show up on a specific day using Divi's conditions. Now this is very cool if you have several promotions running throughout the whole year. You can use this technique to show all your promotions and they can also disappear after a specified time. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All the information is in the video description below. So without wasting a lot of time, let's get started. All right, so what we're going to do here is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to add new. Now let's call this page promo. I'm going to click here on use Divi Builder. So for this design, we're going to choose a pre-made layout. So I'm going to come over here and we're just going to choose any layout here. I'm going to go with this agency uh, pack. And I want the landing page of this one. So this is the one that's selected. I'm going to click on use this layout. Now, it doesn't really matter which layout you use because what we're going to do in uh, this example is to use our new feature, which is our Divi conditions to show information based on uh, what information we tell Divi. Okay, so our layout has been installed. Okay, so now we have our layout here. Everything is looking great. I am now going to publish this so that we don't uh, lose any of our information here. So the next step now is to design our promo. So I'm going to come over here now and add a new section. It's going to be a regular section and I'm going to add a single column. Now this is going to be a Black Friday promo. So uh, let's just go back here and add a background color. So I'm going to click on this gear icon, go to the background and let's give this black. So we really want this to be black like that. So what we're saying here is this is a Black Friday promo, but it can be any other promo for uh, any event. Okay, so now that I have this, uh, I need to reduce the width here. So I'm going to go to design, spacing, and I'm going to set this to say 2%, both at the top and the bottom. We don't want this way too big. Okay, I'm going to save this for now. Uh, I might need to go back at some point. Now let's add our information in here. In fact, you know what? We might need a button for this. So I'm going to click here on change column structure. So we are going to have a layout which have mostly text and then just a call to action. So I'm going to go with this layout first. And then in the first column here, we're going to add a text module. I'm going to add it like that. So this is where we need to add our text. I'm going to go in. Okay, so that's our message, Black Friday offer, 20% off everything. So let's stylize this text now. I'm going to click on this paintbrush tool and let's give this a color. There we go. So that really stands out. So that is really good. And let's make it all caps and let's make it bold as well. And then we also need to change the font here. So for the font, we're going to go with Poppins. I'm going to select it and then increase the size. So we're going to go with uh, 18. So I think that looks OK. I'm going to save that. So over here now we can add our button. But you know what? Uh, let's keep things very simple here. I'm just going to go back to my single column because I can just add my text here where I can just say click here for more information. So I'm going to go back in here now and just add text which says click here. OK, so this is what I need to make a link. So I'm going to highlight it. Click on this chain icon. And I'm going to give it a fake link for now. But in your case, you need to add the proper link, which then uh, takes them to the page which has the product or all the products. So this could be a shop page. It could be maybe another landing page and so on. All right. So now that I have this, I am going to uh, underline it as well. In fact, let me just say OK. And then I'm going to underline it. So now you can see it's underlined. And I also need it centered like that. OK, fantastic. So now that we have our main message here, I'm going to save and we are now going to uh, give this the conditions. So to get the conditions, you need to click here on your section settings. OK, so to add our conditions, I need to come over here to the advanced tab and then click on conditions. So here is where I can set my parameters. So I will click this plus button here to add my condition. And in this case, I want uh, this to show on uh, a specific date. So I'm going to come over here now to date and time and choose date and time. And let's say Black Friday is the 25th of November. I would go to November the 25th, select that, enable condition, and then save. So 
only thing we have to do is if you have a caching plugin, you need to go in and remove this page from the caching so that this message here shows. So all I have to do now is to save this, drag this all the way to the top. Okay, so this is where I need my message to show. Now, there's a few things that we can also do here, and that is to make it stick to the top. So let's go quickly and uh, fix that. So I'm going to come over here to section settings, then go to advanced, scroll effects, and then we want this to stick to the top when we scroll. I'm going to save that, and uh, we're going to test this and see if this is going to work. But before we do that, I just want to also mention that uh, we can also make uh, the space in here uh, actually smaller. So let's go again and just uh, customize this until we are happy with the design. So I've gone into my section settings here. I'm going to click on design spacing. So instead of 2%, I think I'm going to go with 1% and that looks much, much better. Or oh, I could even go as, I mean, down to as low as uh, even uh, 0.5. Yeah. So I think that's much better. I'm going to save now. And this is going to be our sign now. I'm going to save one more time and then exit the visual builder. So I'm going to click here to exit. So as you can see right now, Izzy is not showing. And that is because this is not Black Friday yet. We set the time to 25th of November. But when the time comes, this will show. And uh, pretty much once the time is gone, it's going to disappear as well. So this is how you can automate your website with uh, promo options pretty much throughout the whole year. Set it all ahead of time and this will pretty much become automated. And this is how you want to uh, run your website in a very smart way. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.